locally. I mean, you you want every edge you can get. Look at this thing though. What's up, y'all? I am out here with a quick 4S test of the all-new Hyper VS2. Um, I'm running 4S Lite, but I got some 6S that's coming because um, I need to get one that's going to actually fit in that battery tray. I got some real big ones. So um, when I get the 6S, of course, I'll let you guys know. But right now, I am running one of my Z um, 9000 milliamp HD LiPos in there, and I got a 2200 kV motor in there and a 16 tooth pinion gear. So we're just going to get this for a quick test run out here. I probably got a... <laughs> Work on the suspension just a little bit. It is a little soft. And get this going. I do have one of my Power Hobby servos in here too. This is going good on Forest. This is going to be perfect for running on the track. If I can hit my ram, can I hit it? <laughs> it's always a challenge, but it's good because I like that challenge of this is going good. I like the challenge of trying to be able to hit it straight on. And a lot of times like that, I just miss it. You guys have no idea, when you go to a track, you have to be on point. And having this smaller ramp actually does keep my driving skills on point. Some days I can drive really good, some days I am okay, and then some days I just suck. <laughs> and that's everybody. But anyway, this is actually going good considering we're out here, this dry grass. But we really don't wanna uh, jump down there yet. I, I ain't ready for that yet. So let me get this up here real quick. The buggy is bashable to do that, but I'm probably gonna make this one, well, I'm not gonna say that just for the track, because I hardly ever, ever get to a track or get to be able to race against other people at tracks that are actually, or actual racetracks, so. This is cooking good on 4S, so 6S is gonna be uh, insane. Good correction in the air right there. Now if you guys notice, I said before I drive a lot of my cars in a lot of different areas, but it's kind of the same area. Um, you notice I drive other cars out here and they bounce around a lot and this one's not doing that. I do have to do some minor adjustments probably to the suspension, but I don't want to do all that until I get to a track. But that just shows you the differences and the way um, like a race bread buggy would actually go against, you know, basher cars and stuff like that. I need to move my ramp. So, uh, over. I knew I was going to hit that ramp. <laughs> this is going good, actually. I don't even need success. Great job on this, Obayo. See if you're making me look good on a bad driving day for myself because I am not driving the best today y'all trust me yeah this is going really good
Look at that. It's getting some good air and clarinet actually there for that. And this is only on 4S. All right, come over here. My ramp is crooked too. Look at that. So knowing that this is just on 4S, and of course when you race, guys, you don't race and you don't use, get this over here some. It's kind of because it's on this little slant. You really don't use 6S when you race. You, you don't use 6S at all when you race. I mean, most people when they get out there and they race, um, actually I'm gonna put this ramp in the middle. They get a good sensor system, which I may or may not get one for this, I don't know. I mean, locally, I mean, you need, you want every edge you can get. Look at this thing go. This is good. So on 6S, this thing is gonna cook and you guys know we're gonna do a speed test on this bad boy. I'm not sure right now the maximum pinion gear you could put in here. Um, but when I speed test, I don't know. I don't know what I'll put up in here for a speed test with it, but. So if you guys get this buggy, save the tires that come with it if you can. We're kind of racing on a track and stuff. Um, you can bash them off road, but I would say save them if you can because these are actually really good tires. All right, I'm going to move this ramp to the center real quick. We're going to do a couple of jumps. Let me move this ramp over just a minute. And of course, this lipo is pretty big and heavy up in here, so you wouldn't really want to race with it this big and heavy of a battery but I did want to get a long run time look at that this is on 4s I can't stress that it's getting good on 4s get this straightened up just a bit see if we can hit it can we hit it can we hit it oh I almost got it tearing up a little grass out here <laughs> good on the track. I already know it. Now this wind's starting to pick up crazily out here. But I'm, I'm going to be jumping this. Because <laughs> this thing is jumping good. Alright y'all, that's going to be a quick run. I want to enjoy this a little bit more. Um, so far, so good. Um, so far, really good actually. I did order um, one of the regular bodies that comes with it as well. So that should be here, I don't know, about three to five days or something like that. So like I said, they do have parts in their U.S. warehouse for this. And I will be uh, doing some minor tweaks and stuff to this. But it doesn't really need that much. We're just going to adjust the shocks. Maybe the shock roll in there, but I do need to take it to... Um, different areas and run it there, but so far so good. Um, there's links in the description to of course I'm using the 2200 uh, KB motor stuff from the Forza and then I'm using the power hobby uh, Servo, which is what I needed in there um, And then I'll probably be changing the life bar to something different, but so far so good So anyway guys, don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching